refer to the figure below to answer the question. We have this triangle, and here this is a midpoint. Here is a midpoint, that is a midpoint. So this segment will be buried to this side of the triangle. And here we have EAA, A, and for the other one is 3 and 3. So for the midpoint segment theorem, here we we'll see that this segment will be half of this side. So that means 6 will be equal to 3x minus 3 divided by 2. So this segment will be half of this segment and barrel because this segment joined two middle points of two sides, so it will be barrel to the other side. So now let's solve this question, cross multiplication, so it will be 12 equal to 3x minus 3. 3 will go to the other side with positive 3. So 15 will be equal to 3x, so divide by 3, divide by 3, so x will be equal to 5. Now here given M is a midpoint of AB, a midpoint of AB, so AM equal to NB, and N is a midpoint of AC, so AN equal to NC, so in this segment joined, this segment joined the two midpoints, so it would be directly parallel to the other side of BC. Here we have two points, two midpoints in two sides, so that means the segment will be parallel to the other side. So we have MN will be parallel to BC. Now here when they have a parallel, so, so this line is parallel to this line, and this line will be a transversal line. So that means this angle, 52, and this angle will be congruent and equal, because this is a corresponding angle. This is a corresponding angle. Okay, so that means this 58 and B would be 52. So here, the angles of triangle would be equal to 180, right? So that means angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180. So angle A is 58 plus angle B is 52 and angle C is X equal to 180. These two will go to the other side of minus, so X will be equal to 70. Refer to the figure below to answer the question. We have this triangle and we have these two lines are parallel and this is a midpoint, 14, 14. So we have the two segments are parallel, or once the segment is parallel to the side of the triangle, and it, join, it has one midpoint, cut one side in the midpoint, so the other side also would be a midpoint. So that means 4x would be equal to 7x minus 9. So here, 7 will go to the left side, so 3x will be equal to minus 9, so x will be equal to 3. So the answer here is 3. Now in the figure below, A barrel to B, barrel to C, barrel to D. And AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to 25 and GH is 4X, and AG is 4X plus 24. Here, if we have, if we have three parallel line or more parallel line cut of congruent segments on one transversal, so we have here, this is a transversal, for the, this, these are the parallel lines, and this line is a transversal, and we, and we have congruent segments, so that means any other Transversals will have will be congruent segments also. So here we have GH is 4x, so that means FG is 4x also, and EF is 4x. Now here they mentioned that AG, AG is 
x plus 24. At the same time, fg plus ef equal to 8x. Because this one is 4x, so this, all, this segment also 4x, and this segment also is 4x. So let's simplify this one. So we'll have 24 equal to 4x. Divide by 4, divide by 4, so x would be equal to 6. In the figure below, we have the same like previous questions. We have A and B and C are parallel, and we have this transversal, AB equal to BC, so EF would be equal to FG, so 3X minus 12 would be equal to 2X. So 3X will go to the other side minus 3X, so it would be minus X equal to minus 12 by minus minus, so X would be equal to 12. Here in the figure below, EFGH are barrel, EF h barrel and we have OB equal to B Q equal to QR so that means the other transversal also will have congruent segments so XY will be equal to YZ equal to ZT so here we have 3X so YZ also will be 3X and ZT also will be equal to 3X and yt is 2x plus 24, so 2x plus 24 would be equal to 3x plus 3x equal to 6x. 2x will go to the other side, it will be 4x. And here would be 24, divide by 4, divide by 4, so x would be equal to 6. So the answer here is 6. In this triangle we have this segment is a midpoint. There is a midpoint here, 20 and 20. So this point is a midpoint. So and this segment is parallel to the one of the side of triangle. So the other side, this one would be a midpoint also. So 6x would be equal to 8x minus 6. So 6x would be equal 8x minus 6. Go to the other side, minus 2x equal to minus 6, divide by 2x, divide by 2x, so x will be equal to 3. So the answer is 3. Refer to the figure below to answer the question. As we see here, we have this one is a midpoint and this one is a midpoint. This is 5 and 5 and this is C and C. So this segment will be parallel to this segment. At the same time, this segment will be half of this side. So we'll have that 8 will be equal to 5x minus 4 divided by 2. Let's make cross multiplication. So 16 will be equal to 5x minus 4. 4 will go to the other side. So it will be 20 equal to 5x divided by 5 divided by 5. So x will be equal to 4. So the answer is 4. For this figure is the same. We have this segment is parallel to the one of the side of the triangle, and this segment also join two midpoints. There's one midpoint here, 10 and 10. So the other point is also a midpoint. So 5x would be equal to 2x plus 6. So 2x will go to the other side. So, so 3x equal to 6. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. So x would be equal to 2. So the answer is 2. In the figure below, we have A parallel to B, parallel to C, parallel to D. And we have two transversal lines. And one of the transversal has congruent segments. We have AB equal to BC equal to CD, 5, 5, 5. So that means the other transversal or any other transversal will have, will have also congruent segment. So EF would be equal to FG would be equal to GH. So here GH is equal to 4. So FG is also equal to 4 and EF equal to 4. So that means we have Y over 2 minus 3 equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 to be equal to 12. So 3 will go to the other side. So Y over 2 
equal to 15 cross multiplication, so y would be equal to 30. So the answer here is 30.